Hello, everyone. Uh, we're going to kick off the holiday season with a flower farmer, plant lover, gardener gift guide. Um, I had a lot of requests for this, and I love giving gifts. It's definitely my love language. I go deep into my notes, and I plan them out. I think about it months ahead. I love giving them, but I know other people have a hard time coming up with things so if you have someone in your life if it's yourself and you want to send this to someone else perfect okay so to start off i'm just gonna be sharing my favorite things and not all of these are super plant related but i use them a lot when i'm outside or just in my life bandanas this one's from the brand soul flower and they have all different plant ones they're like an eco-friendly company I believe they're all organic and this one has some mushrooms on it i love it and then this one is just green but these are perfect for keeping like the sweat and hair out of your eyes um you can even tie around your neck and then like wipe off dirt and stuff like i just think they're perfect this one's bigger than this one and then i can just throw them in the wash after i'm done with them and literally wear them all the time wear them to farmer's market wear them working outside perfect then moving into hats, I have this little stocking hat. It's kind of stinks. I was wearing it yesterday when I was seating, but I'll wash it. And it has a cute little flower on it. This is from Kristen Made. I might tag everything below. Um, I believe she had different colors in this, but it's super warm. Perfect working in the colder months. Um, and then like hats from local nurseries. This one says. Peace Love Plants it has the nur nursery on the back. Wear this all the time. And I was gifted this one and it says Bloom and Grow. They're just perfect. I wear my ponytail out of them, keeps the hair out of my face. And then my sun hat is, I'll have to look up the brand, but it's made in Mexico, but they're carried here in Austin and it's like SPF. 50 it's super nicely made it's more expensive but it has this adjustable thing really perfect and then i can go like this love it keeps the sun away okay and then for shoes my favorite shoe items i don't have them up here but my bogs they're a brand of like boots work boots rain boots whatever you want to call it and um i have like a forest green color and i have the short ankle ones i'll put a picture in here and they're my favorite like super comfy can wear them all day i don't get blisters they keep my feet warm they keep them not wet it's just they're perfect i would highly recommend getting bogs out of the brands I've tried, just the other ones don't really hold up. And then, and then the summer, I know, unpopular opinion, I wear sandals. So I wear Tevas a lot. Um, those I can get wet, I can spray off. So I'll link the Tevas I have. I just don't really like my feet in clothes, but I know with snakes and stuff, if you're in an area, I haven't seen any, knock on wood, but I know. So on that one, Maybe get a pair of like little hiking boots you can wear out there too, or just wear your bogs all the time. Another must have. Um, I have the florette belt. I was actually given this as a gift, so this is a perfect gift. It wraps around your waist, you can collapse it. You can keep your snips in here. I have little rubber bands in here still. Um, and I usually keep a pen and like plant tags when I need them, rubber bands. You can get like attachments. I should probably get like a rubber band pouch because when I have my snips, these just end up falling out and then my chickens try to eat them. But perfect. You don't necessarily have to get this one. I'll link like a dupe. So I know this one is pricey, but it's really high quality. And I've used this two years now. And yeah, it still looks good. So recommend that. And another thing this rain jacket I have it's not warm so I wouldn't recommend this for the warmth but the print it's adorable and like in the summer when it's raining or in the spring this is perfect and I wear it, it has a hood it's from the brand Jules 
the Trusted Right as Rain Collection. It's weatherproof and breathable. And this is an in. I got mine in the US 10, and it's long, and it buttons, and also zips, and it has pockets that have, that close up, so it's really nice. I've had this for like two years too, and it's still holding up really well. And you could wash it. Another gift, books. I love books so much. Sorry, my throat kind of hurts today. And this is one I got at a botanical garden. It's Mastering the Art of Flower Gardening. But um, I have so many flower books. But if you look at it, super pretty. Has pictures, which is important. It goes pretty in depth. You have to have seed starting. So this one's a goodie. It's by Matt Mattis. I'll link it below. It was $30, so not bad. And it's hardcover and it'll last you. You could write notes in it, you can bookmark it. Um, another book I have, I have all three of the Florette books. So her Discovering Dahlias, A Year in Flowers, and I believe it's the Cut Flower Garden. Those are all great. Highly recommend starting there, especially with the first one. If you wanna get into flower farming or you know someone who's a flower lover, a Year in Flowers is super pretty, and I just like looking at it and getting inspiration, so that'd be perfect for, like, a florist, too. Very cool. Um, yeah, I'll link any other ones I can think of, too, because I have read a lot. I really like reading about them, and it's nice getting inspiration from other areas. And then another thing, I don't have them up here with me, but snips. You could always use more snips. I lose mine. They rust. Yeah, I just feel like they get dull after a while and they kind of, they don't last long, but like if you get like a pack of five snips, I feel like that'd be a great gift. Um, I'll link my favorite. I like the AR, ARS ones and then another one. I just can't think of the brand, but I'll link it below so y'all can see it. That would be a great gift. Um, even like bigger pruners for um, what are your things would be nice as well. And then I was thinking, like, different, I have this vase I got. Like, it's so cute, but even if they weren't into flowers, you could, like, use this for plant clippings. It has all these holes in it. You know, super adorable. It's a little face. So I think any cute, like, vase or vessel would be a good gift. Um, if they're a plant lover, you could even take clippings and put it in it and give it to them as a gift like that. I think that would be really cute. Um... Any cute pot. Um, I love pots. I just don't like paying for them. So that would be an awesome gift. And I feel like a lot of other plant lovers feel the same way. So yeah. I feel like that would be a really good gift. And then another one would be. I got this moon calendar. So this would be perfect for a gardener. Who's trying to get into biodynamic. Flower farmers trying to get into it. It's super cool. And it moves. So you could probably change it for each month. I need to do that. Um, this would be like cute to like hang up in your greenhouse and your garden shed and to look at. And then like flower prints. Um, this is one of them. Love it. I have so many flower prints. Um, once I get my flower shed done, it's just gonna be covered in them. They're adorable. So I think any of those would be perfect. And then like, if you get a framed picture of like their flowers or them gardening or something like that you could take it off their Instagram and like frame it. I feel like that'd be a really cute gift. Um, yeah, I love this picture. Another thing you could do is like maybe you could pay, like you find a photographer and like get them a mini session to do in their flower garden like when it's blooming. I feel like that'd be an awesome gift. Um, and then this is kind of a bigger one, but a cool bot. If you know they're transitioning to wanting to have a cooler, mine is still in here because I haven't got to that point yet. Hopefully. The goal is to have it done by February. So, um, this is just like the little control thing. So at least it's a part and helps them out if they're trying to get into the cooler. They are kind of expensive to invest in. Um, 
This would be like if you knew that's what they're leaning towards though. You could help them out and get that. Let's see, I have a list I made. Oh, cups. This is my keep cup. I use this all the time for coffee, for tea, um, hot or iced. Um, it's eco-friendly. It has a cork thing, so if it's hot, you can hold on to it. Um, it has a lid right here, and it closes, so dirt and bugs don't get into it, which is really nice. I've decorated mine with a dirty hose sticker that I got from a local nursery. A blue bonnet sticker, and all I need is flower stick. Oh my gosh. Sorry. There's dust everywhere. Oh, actually, I think that was mushy's fur, actually. So yeah, love these. Perfect. I take it out to the greenhouse. I take it out when I'm working the flowers. Take it to farmer's markets. Lily, it goes everywhere with me. And it fits in your cup holder nice, which I like. Um, i trying to think. Oh, Hydro Flask. Um, that's perfect all year round. You could put hot in it. You could put iced. I keep my water in that. And that way it stays cold. And again, dirt, bugs don't get in it. It's insulated. They're just, they're worth the investment um, for sure. Um, another idea would be a gift card to a local nursery. So if you know like their favorite nursery or plant shop, you can get them a gift card and I think that'd be really sweet because that way they can treat themselves and get what they really want. If you aren't sure they'd like any other option or they already have like everything, that way when they see something they like, they can get it. It's really my favorite gift to get. <laughs> um, a fruit tree. I think this would be so cute because then they can plant it and have it like year after year. And see it grow i think it'd be adorable or a rose plant so like david austin roses come on you can't go wrong there i think a gift card from there or like two of the roses would be like a perfect gift i've done this for my mom for mother's day too that way it actually grows and it's not just flowers you're buying and they're gonna die at least that's how i think about it but i do love my cut flowers but i love growing them more so i think rose plants would be really cool you probably get the bare root ones and just have them ship and like print out the receipt if it's not shipping time by Christmas or the holiday season, whatever you're celebrating. Um, so my sister, I'll get it down for you. My sister crocheted me this plant hanger and it's literally one of my favorite gifts ever. So if you can knit or crochet, I think, uh, okay. I think that's your way in, or like the macrame, like what's behind me. Um, that would be a perfect gift. Um, you run out of space, you need to start hanging them. And if you have the talent, excellent gift. I want to learn how to do it, or even get them like a macrame kit, and then they can learn how to do it. I feel like that'd be a really good gift. Or like moss pole kit, they're a houseplant lover too. Um, uh, let's see, what else? Oh, a nice hose. Um, uh, this is kind of weird, but hoses are expensive, and I got, oh, what is it called? Um, okay, I can't remember the name of it, but it's the hose that's retractable, and it goes back in. Love it. Highly recommend. It was an investment, but now I don't have to trip over my hoses constantly, and it just goes back in. I can pull it all the way out to my flowers, pull it all the way in my greenhouse, my vegetable garden it's perfect i will put a picture and link it below i just i can't think of the name but it's awesome so that'd be a really nice gift um a backpack sprayer and this is another thing i had kind of an investment but it'd be nice if you know they have like one of those really tiny handheld ones a backpack one such an upgrade and literally helps out so much you know it's heavier but it's a workout um yeah, I think they just last a lot longer. It's perfect for compost tea and all of that. Um, I think a seed gift would be really cute. Like, you could somehow put it, like, in a little organizer and different seeds, like, like a brand, you know, they like. Um, I think that'd be really cute. Or you can get, like, a little tin and tie it. I think that'd be adorable. Um, a gorilla cart. That's my green cart that I pull flowers in when I'm cutting. Maybe like a hundred dollars so it's another thing it would help out if you know they're kind of getting to that point even if you aren't cutting flowers i feel like if you're harvesting vegetables you can put them in little buckets or whatever in there little boxes um 
honestly if you have land or a garden just pulling around tools and stuff in that it's honestly great you can put anything we use it also to take our trash out so it has a lot of purposes um if you can upgrade some of their tools like we know they have pretty nasty tools that are not the high quality maybe upgrading some of them a roll of landscape fabric if they have in-ground rows like that um or they're starting out and that's what they want to switch to i feel like getting a roll of that would help out a lot would be a cute gift i know a lot of flower farmers have asked for that um as a gift also like signing up getting them like a workshop or a class like you know they kind of been thinking about it but they just don't want to do it like make the investment i feel like that could be a really cute gift like it doesn't have to be like a huge class or anything but like something where they could learn like a arranging class a wreath making class a gardening class i think anything like that would be adorable and really thoughtful um especially if people are trying to be like low waste this christmas like they that's more like an experiment experience and they can use that later um and also a bouquet subscription from a local flower farm this is what i'm, I'm offering right now for my flower lovers in my area so they get they can sign up through my website and they can either do six weeks in the spring is what i'm offering right now later i'll put up the summer and the fall and then i'm also offering up front the big 26 week full flower season so that one goes th march through october and i'm doing like a two week break i believe in august just because it gets super hot here and a lot of people vacation um maybe it's a month it's either two weeks or a month i'm taking a little break in between my month's gone why the flowers are recovering this is an awesome gift so they get however many weeks weekly they get a bouquet arrangement delivered to their doorstep and it's just awesome that way they can see whenever it's blooming it supports us the farmers um especially buying now up front it helps out a lot this is the time we have to order all our supplies seeds bulbs compost landscape fiber drip line for next year and it's also the time when you have no income so it's really fun um so this helps out a lot and that way they're kind of like investing in your farm and you give them the outcome that they help you know kind of pay for like helps support you during those off months so i think this is a really awesome gift um i want to get this for my grandparents but i'm still trying to work that out um because i don't I don't live there they live back in illinois still but i know there's a local flower farm by them so even if you don't live near this person search local flower farms if you look on the floret um flower farm collective um you can find local flower farms i even just typing in like flower farm in whatever town they're in and a lot of flower farmers do do bouquet subscriptions and a lot are offering them now as gifts and this is a great way to shop local help support local farmers and it's also a great gift because it's like six weeks worth of a surprise they get to see every week or 26 weeks and it just makes their week and I think that's such a cute gift and I would love if someone got me that I would love to get flowers every week but I'm the one doing it and I love doing it and I love being the one to bring the happiness in um so I think that's a really adorable gift so yeah um this is kind of all I thought of and I kind of want to do a little holiday series through the end of this month but if I think of anything else I'll definitely link everything below so you all, so you all can see it and happy holidays <laughs>